god is that full netherite gear and portal frames and so much more oh my god guys my seat is extremely op guys there's a lot of people out there that cheat in their minecraft speedruns, and it's pretty funny to watch so here are the most hilarious fake minecraft speedruns. this first speedrunner starts by literally spawning in the middle of a village the first sign that this run is fake as he clearly cut his recording located a village and then just pretended to have spawned there the chance of this happening legitimately is just a abysmally low. The chest in the blacksmith he spawns right next to has an insane amount of obsidian, which definitely seems pretty suspicious. He finds even more obsidian in a second blacksmith, and is ready to enter the nether, but there's one thing he's still missing, a flint. He digs into a hill, presumably to find one, and he actually does, but not in the way you might expect. Roll the clip. That's right, this guy placed a flint underground via an item frame. Something that he may have gotten away with if it wasn't for the absurd amount of lag he experiences throughout the whole run. That caused the item frame to break right in front of our own eyes. He enters the nether and starts walking in a very specific direction. He must be looking for a fortress. Wait, what? why is he building a portal? Well, that'll happen quite quickly. He's now suddenly in the end, might I add, in creative mode, and is ready to fight the dragon and end his run. Ah, uh, well, he had us in the first half. Mmm, actually, not really. I'll grade this guy's clearly fake speedrun with an F, which stands for fat-headedness. This next runner starts by heading straight to a desert temple, but watch what happens and see if you spot what's wrong. The runner cut his video as he was building up and out of the temple, and then resumed it, while still building up, but in a different temple. This becomes very clear once you notice that the area surrounding him once he exits the temple is completely different than the area surrounding him when he entered. He then heads right to a nearby village, evidently the reason that he did this trick with the temple. The runner does the same thing again while in the nether, by digging slightly into a wall near the fortress he had just looted, and then turning around to suddenly be in a completely different location next to his portal so that he can return to the overworld you would have caught on to this dude's cheating even if you were only barely paying attention so i'll give him a d for dang dude you really suck this next run was definitely unexpected to say the least it starts off pretty normal with this guy looting a village near his spawn which actually seems legitimate unlike literally every other fake speedrun but things start to get crazy when he enters a desert temple and finds guns Okay, okay, that, that's a little much for me. This guy just gets an A that doesn't stand for anything. I'm just honestly afraid to mess with him. This next runner definitely doesn't seem like he understands the rules of speedrunning. He starts in a village where he shows off his excellent level of agility. After wiping out an entire population of animals, he makes a very interesting decision. He announces that he's going to the bathroom and shuts the video off, and then turns it back on and he's suddenly in the stronghold. What a very skilled and talented speedrunner. E. This next speedrunner starts by getting some wood and heading straight to a village, but things start to get sketchy when he opens a chest, where he finds items that normally only spawn in blacksmith chests, like an iron chest plate and ingots. Also notice that when he takes the items from the chest, he doesn't get an achievement from them, showing that he has obtained them before, which tells us that he placed these items here prior to the run. Next, this guy heads to a house right outside of the main village, something that most runners probably wouldn't do, as going to this house would waste a lot of time, considering these types of houses don't spawn with chests. But there's actually a chest in this one, obviously one placed by him, and it's filled with- no, just- just no. In the village's temple building, is a brewing stand, just like normal. But in the brewing stand is two healing potions, which 
come on, dude. Next, he heads to a second village, this one in a desert. But he clearly knew where it was beforehand because there's no way he could have seen it, considering how it's not only pretty far, but also on the other side of a hill. This village has just as much obviously fake loot, even some in a blast furnace, which is a decision from the speedrunner that I just cannot fathom. His next destination is a nearby ruined portal, which... <sighs> After getting some blaze rods, the runner decides to trade with some piglins, but it seems like he has an awful lot of gold, considering he barely mined any at all, so I assume he cut the video at some point to cheat in some extra. He proceeds to basically walk straight to the stronghold once back in the overworld, which makes for a nice, clean, oddly convenient entrance to the end. He finishes off the dragon, but dies right as he does it, so I'm not really sure it counts. Regardless, I'll score this fake speedrun with a B for or better yourself, please. This speedrunner starts by conveniently spawning next to a village and heads right to it. But when he opens a chest in one of the houses, he finds diamonds, confirming that this chest was tampered with before the run. This continues throughout the whole village as he finds a ton of diamonds, iron, and obsidian, all in normal houses. Once he's done looting, he heads into a seemingly random direction before behaving pretty weirdly for a second and then heading back. You'll notice that when the runner stops to craft, he has a flint in his inventory, but if you look back at every chest he looted, he never obtained a flint, implying that when he stopped just a second ago, he cut the recording and went into creative to give it to himself. Smart. After crafting some tools and armor, he builds a nether portal with the obsidian he got from the village. But take a look at what happens when he enters the nether. Right next to the portal he exits from is a hole in the ground that perfectly resembles the size and shape of a portal, showing that he has entered the nether prior to the run. My theory is that when he was illegally setting everything up for his run, this guy went into the nether to locate a nether fortress in order to eliminate the time it would normally take to find one during the run. This explains why he went to a very specific location to build his portal in the overworld, because if he had built it somewhere else, he would have to manually locate a fortress. He memorized the location of the fortress in proportion to the very specific location of his portal, something that is shown by the fact that he digs through a seemingly random wall and just stumbles upon one. Very very suspicious. He goes ahead and grabs his blaze rods and ender pearls, but notice that he leaves the nether with only five eyes of ender, something that is very weird considering most speedrunners generally wouldn't leave the nether until they had at least 12. With any less, you most likely wouldn't have enough to both locate the stronghold and light the portal, but he doesn't need any more than five, because once he returns to the overworld, he runs in a very specific direction for a while before using a single eye, and even then, he throws the eye from very close to where the stronghold ends up being, leading me to believe that he knew where it was beforehand, and just didn't remember to throw an eye to make it look real until he was basically already there. The runner enters the stronghold and locates the portal, which is conveniently almost completely lit. Another example of how he really never needed that many eyes of ender at all. He enters the end and continues to defeat the dragon, something that, all things considered, seems pretty legit to me. But all in all, this guy's run really wasn't very convincing. I'll give this fake speedrun a C for kinda sucks. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and following my Twitter.